Today's video, we're going to be talking about how my cute little dragons here had another baby. Hello, little one. That's the egg. Well, in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the red-eyed crocodile skinks. So if you happen to have watched my silkworm feeding video, the link's up above, you may recall that I stumbled across something in the red-eyed crocodile skink enclosure. The thing is, that object looked to be part of the wood. I honestly had no idea until I kind of touched it a bit and realized that it was a completely inflated egg that was wedged between the wall of the glass and the Mopani wood that the animals hide under it. So to my surprise, I realized that there was a ready to hatch red-eyed crocodile skink egg just sitting there that Donnie and Sappy had been incubating in the enclosure. You may not know that I personally incubate all my red-eyed crocodile skinks in the enclosure with the parents. They're fantastic at doing it. I've never had a single issue with them incubating their eggs. These animals are actually known to move the egg to different locations in the enclosure based on the temperature or humidity requirements for the egg. So they're really good parents. The babies, I've had multiple living with the parents, no issues, no aggression. It's just a nice little family in there. So right now we actually have two babies, well, one juvenile and the new baby. We'll have a quick look and see how they're doing. And then, you know, we'll do a bit of an update, feed Sunny and Sappy, let you guys see them because it's been a while. So hope you guys are gonna enjoy that, stick around. Also, I gotta say it, if you guys are new here, definitely consider subscribing down below and dinging the notification bell if you enjoy videos pertaining to the topic of keeping specialty pets such as reptiles, amphibians, and different kinds of cool invertebrates such as Sky Puppy. Because, you know, you guys clearly love Sky Puppy. Don't forget to check out my other social media accounts down below. I also have a Patreon if you'd like to support this channel further and some cool merch that you can check out as well. Sweet. So I came in the other night and this empty spot had an egg there and uh, well this is the egg and I gotta say it was enormous the size of it in comparison to sappy I was like what this is over half your size I've never actually seen one of the eggs you know like incubating close to full term incubation before hatching so I was so shocked and the texture of it really just made it seem like it was part of this wood if you can see what I'm saying um, and it was kind of dirty in that back corner so yeah, here's the egg and the baby hatched last Sunday night, um, just a few days after discovering it. And yeah, they're just doing so well. They're so cute. They were tucked away here with Sunny, who's just resting. He looks so upset. What's wrong, dude? <laughs> and Sappy's like, okay, well, this is all fun. You always do this, you film us, but are you are you gonna feed me now? Yes, we are. We will add a feeding video now. I'm going to show you guys how wonderfully tame this animal is. Um, very, very comfortable taking food from my hands and such. So let's go ahead and feed them now. I'm going to give Sappy here a super worm. She's going to be very happy about that. Yes. Are you excited? Now, my croc skinks are pretty tame. I've worked really hard to get them to that point. Let me know if that's something you'd like to learn about in a future video. Hey, Mademoiselle. Come. There you go. But should they always run away? Once they have their food, they need to feel like they need it safely. Maybe they're worried about competition or something. They'll usually hide it after. Let's see if Sunny will come out for that. Good boy. That was a pretty cool shot. <laughs> Good job, buddy. And there's Sunny finishing up his, and you can see they actually have some good teeth. Good boy. Some good crunching. Good boy. All right guys, so I've also taken the liberty of dusting a bunch of crickets with Rapashi Calcium Super Plus. We're gonna go ahead and dump these in for the juvenile and adult skinks as well to get their, you know, good vitamins and minerals in. They really enjoy crickets. So I don't know where or why that's the case for a lot of people, but Sunny and Sappy, yep. 
are always happy to take a cricket. Good girl. Hello little one, here's a baby just at the water's edge, and now they've run into the water to hide, kind of what they do when they're frightened. The thing with these animals is just that it's tricky to get footage of the offspring. As soon as I go in there and I want to start filming them, they bolt into the water, hide under the wood, and it makes it really tricky and challenging to be able to get good footage of them for you guys to see. I hope you can appreciate the few little shots we did get of those young guys. The enclosure is doing pretty well. Um, sorry about the reflection. You can see the filter back here, water feature, lots of roots down here to remove all the nutrients, some java moss, and they go in this water and bathe every day. Um, the juvenile is somewhere in here usually hides back in that wood. You can see here, there's some wood. He's usually hiding behind it or on it. He also loves to rest on top of the filter, which is pretty wholesome. Actually, quite a few of them do. I'll find some footage of that. Sonny is just over here, enjoying being on top of the filter, which is making a lot of noise. We're gonna need to get in here, so thank you, Sonny. I gotta check out, oh look at all those springtails, nice. Gotta check things out in here. But yeah, they're they're doing really great. And hi Sappy. This is their little hideout where they're mostly sleeping. Oh look at all the springtails, keeping things clean. Now, I know I've been saying this for months that, oh yeah, I'd like to do an upgrade, blah, blah, blah. I actually do, I swear. I have been in the talks with company right now about doing a really nice enclosure for these guys, which is why I've been putting it off a bit. Uh, we're kind of planning and brainstorming how it's going to look. But um, yeah, more on that coming soon. If this works, it could be something really exciting for the animals, um, really rewarding and front opening. So I don't have to have this awful glare and we can get some great footage of these guys without having to either go through the top or, well, yeah, just dealing with this because it's so frustrating. It's probably some of the worst footage I'm able to get of any of my animals. And we don't want that because, I mean, look at these guys. They're just the most curious and incredible looking critters. So guys, this week I was planning on addressing the fact that we hit 60,000 subscribers. However, Guys, we're blowing up and this is really exciting and I'm so eternally grateful for everyone's support and viewership. You guys are the best. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I put so much work into this content and it's such a blessing to be able to share my experience keeping these specialty pets and plants with you all, learning from each other and building this little community. It's really, really just such an honor and I wanna thank you guys. Every YouTuber kind of dreams of attaining the 100K, so thank you so much because we're making big strides towards attaining that goal and none of it would be possible without each and every single one of you. So, just wanted to say that before we move on. Without further ado, Sincerely hope you guys enjoy this video, and like I always say, I look forward to seeing you guys in another video again soon. See you guys on Tuesday. And if you'd like to see more video pertaining to the topic of keeping red-eyed crocodile skinks, check this link over here to my red-eyed crocodile skink playlist. Bye guys.